Our world is going with a major healthcare crisis. It's about COVID-19 because it's affecting people's life, their job, and so many things. It is also affecting number of industries. And one of the most affected industry is the healthcare industry. If you look at high level healthcare industry, there are three key players. It's patient, the people itself. It's about provider, which means your hospitals, doctors. It's payers who pay bills for the patient. Now, if you look at the process, it's completely broken. If I'm a patient and if I'm suffering with some symptoms, uh, I have no idea where I can get a COVID-19 test. If I'm become positive, where I'm going to get treatment, which hospitals, which hospital has a capacity and so on. If I'm a provider, I have no idea how many resources I need. How can I plan it? How many doctors, uh, nurses, uh, hospital beds, ventilators? I have no idea. I cannot predict it. And if I pay her, I'm an insurance company, I'm not sure what is my financial burden will be coming in the next 90 days. How much claim is going to come, right? So today's demo is about how the payer or insurance company looking at publicly available domain data, example coming from Health and Human Services, Center for Disease Control, and local public, uh, uh, local government data. And, and as an insurance company, I know my customer geography, how many customers I have in this particular location, uh, what is their health background, what is their age, what is their race, Merging these two data, combining these two, and predict uh, whether how much my claim is going to look in the next 90 days. Today's demo is built based on Oracle's next generation data science platform and purely peer focus. As part of today's uh, peer focus demo, we'll be taking a look through the eyes of Claire. Uh, we'll follow the journey of Claire, a claims analyst at an insurance firm, CM, uh, CM Shai where she assesses the spread of COVID-19 across the United States. Thereafter, she will narrow down the cause and the analysis for uh, the prediction of COVID-19 cases across the state of California. So, and finally, get the financial implications of the claims which come in. Claire tries to analyze the COVID-19 scenario for the country based on different data sources. She, uh, the dashboard, uh, you can see are for the data and cases as of April 27th. Based on this information, Claire comes to a conclusion that the number of cases are not flattening anytime soon and the most affected states are New York followed by California. Since CM Shai mostly focuses on the coverage for the state of California, Claire tries to dig deeper into the state of California. She sees that over one third cases are hospitalized and over a thousand patients are in ICU and the rate of hospitalization is growing exponentially. And the most affected county is LA. Based on this information and the existing information about the coverage, the geographical factors like the population density and other factors like the susceptible population, she tries to estimate the total number of patients who will be uh, covered by CM Shai for the population of California. Once she has this estimate, she then leverages AI and ML to do the predictions for the future. Claire uses Sears model. Sears stands for Susceptible Exposed Infected Recovered Patients in its geographical construct. Each of these is a differential equation and we have an optimized cost function to solve this equation. She leverages a data science platform to build this model and get the predicted values for the state of California for the future. Once she has this information, she then adds the financial cost of each day in hospital for COVID-19. And she comes to the conclusion that for this county of LA, the predicted hospital cost for the next quarter is 27 million and the ICU cost is going to be 7 million. She also sees what are the top 10 affected counties in the state of California. It's unsurprisingly LA followed by San Diego and then Almeda. Once she has this analysis, she then forwards to her financial team 
so that they can further analyze the situation and start the next steps. Claire's solution mostly focuses on the data science part. So she doesn't want to waste most of her time with a, uh, the database tuning and all the other stuff. So she just gets the data, puts it in an object store, which then triggers an event, which then calls a function to deploy it in autonomous data warehouse, which does the auto tuning, auto uh, understanding of the data. And she builds the model on top using data science platform. She analyzes the data using at analytics cloud and she brings that analysis to her financial team and her payers and customers. So let me summarize what we are saying. We use Oracle data science platform. We took insurance company's data, merged with external source of data coming from various agency and create a predictive modeling on top of it and predicted what, how the financial look like in coming quarter so that insurance company take a right action.